in the in the pre-dawn sky, uh, the five naked eye planets are all going to be visible. It's not unusual to see um, one or two planets in the night sky at all, um, but to see all five of them, so that's Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, all in relatively close proximity, um, just makes it a rather lovely thing to see. Now, the reason that we're seeing them at this uh, time like this is just chance, really. It's just coincidence. All the planets move around their orbits. Their orbits are different sizes, and they move at different speeds. So they're constantly changing their alignments with each other. And, but it just so happens that um, for the next month, they're all going to be approximately um, in the same part of the sky. There's a little bit of um, sort of um, technicality um, about this. What do we mean by a planetary alignment? Um, I suppose what you would think of really is is that the alignment is when all the planets are sort of in the in in a straight line away from the sun, and so you could you can draw a straight line through them, starting at the sun and moving out through um, the different planets. If that were the case, then they would all appear very, very close to each other in the night sky because um, they'd all be in the same line of sight, essentially. And when objects become very close together like that, um, astronomers tend to call that a conjunction. Uh, this is not a conjunction. The planets are fairly widely spread um, through the sky, but all in the same region. So the best time to look for uh, these is about an hour before sunset. Uh, sorry, and about an hour before sunrise. And so that's in sort of around about the 6.37 a.m. time frame. And the thing to look for is to look east. And there, just above the eastern horizon, um, will be the very, very bright point of Venus. It will be the brightest thing in the sky. And then if you look um, diagonally northwards, you'll see another bright object, and that's Jupiter. So they, they will be highly conspicuous. They'll be the two brightest things in the sky. Look back in, or look in between Jupiter and Venus, and you'll see the red spot of Mars, and then the yellowish spot of Saturn. And then those will, you will see form a conspicuously straight line and follow that line down past Venus, even closer to the horizon. And you might just glimpse the little bright um, spot of Mercury down there as well.